Thanks for joining me on today's video, and today we're going to go over another Boomco Halo Blaster, and this one is the Needler. Yeah, super cool, right? It looks really neat. This is a, a pretty faithful recreation of the Blaster. It's also huge. You might be able to tell that I'm like trying to hold it out here. Uh, this thing is bigger than my head. Like, this is, we're on the same plane here. This is a big old Blaster. So what it is, is basically a rotary drum revolving turret blaster, um, and basically lever action, which is a little strange, because in the game it's fully automatic, and the darts, sorry, the darts, pff, the needles in the game home in on uh, uh, the enemy, and cause it to blow up, cause the enemy to blow up in a big old pink blast. This does not do that, and therefore it's garbage. No, just kidding. Obviously we're not going to get that in a blaster. So, um, now this is extra dart storage up here, which is really cool. They, uh, package it with pink, uh, darts. And when you pull the trigger, they light up, which is here. Let's, they light up and this has a few settings. Uh, so obviously this takes batteries. I believe it is triple a, yeah, I'm thinking it's triple a, uh, so it has three settings. There's a switch right here. And on this setting, when you pull the trigger, it acts like it's depleting the magazine. So, you know, you're shooting. And, oh, man, I'm starting to run out. Oh, no. And now I need to reload. Um, now, the other setting is just they stay on. Uh, you do not need the darts to stay here for the lights to work. As you can tell, there's just lights in it. Um, and I think this is a really creative way to do dart storage. Like, obviously, they were not going to get the magazine 100% right. Uh, because how in the world are you going to, like, conveniently load darts in the top for them to slide in through the barrel of the blaster? You know, I think this is creative use of uh, the shell to do this. It's uh, unfortunately not end strike compatible. You can't put any barrel attachments. There's no stock point here. There's no sling mounts. I don't know what the deal is, but anyway, let me show you what I mean by it being lever action. This is the priming handle. You pull it back, and now the uh, the blaster is primed. We'll shoot, and then you pull it forward, and now you do this again. And yes, it makes that noise every time, making this a very loud blaster. Allow me to officially take you to the range and we'll, you know, continue to talk about it. Here we are. Woo! Admittedly, this is a tough one to aim. Because, as you can imagine, If you're having a hard time aiming with something, or if something doesn't have sights, you aim the top ridge, right? I'm gonna bring up the submachine gun again, and like, let's just say the sights are down and you really need, you can aim with that top ridge, and you'll generally get it right, right? Well, this thing is a lump, right? So you might have noticed me shooting a little high, and I realized it's because I was shooting like this, because this is the flattest that this ridge gets. So I'm launching the darts at a pretty extreme angle. So it's a little tough to point, uh, so to speak. I find uh, you can really only aim with the side, like lining your eyes up with the uh, barrel turret here. It's pretty easy to reload. You can just take these and slide them in. It loads like any front feeding revolver, turret, blaster, whatever. Um... But yeah, so when I got this, I had no idea like that this this makes that noise, and that's I think it's the ro the rotary mech here, rotating, um, and it just does not inspire a lot of confidence, as you can imagine, because like it just sounds like I'm breaking it, right? And then to and it I, and I know you can't feel it, but there's like a weird like shake in it while it happens. It's a little bit pump action too, I guess, because technically I'm like, ch -ch 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 -ch. but since it's kind of on a lever too, it's a very unique, 
priming handle, so to speak. Whoa. That was like some accidental slam fire there. So now the blaster is empty. Um, it's a little heavy. And uh, as you can imagine, not convenient to use. Uh, so needless to say, you could probably guess the next word out of my mouth. Not fieldable. Um, unless you are... This is part of your shtick. Like, I tend to go for like unique blasters too. But even this one at this point, I'm like... There are other Boomco Halo blasters I would use before this, so to speak, just because I'm just afraid of dropping this thing and either killing somebody because of the weight, stubbing my toe because of the weight, or it breaking. Now this one, I guess you can dry fire it. It's probably one of the few Boomco blasters in the series that you can series that you can um, dry fire. Uh, not necessarily that that's a good thing, but uh, since it already sounds like it's breaking itself, uh, but that's a feature you have. You don't have to worry about keeping up with the little magazines or whatever. So that's a plus too, I guess. So if you're a big fan of the series and love the Needler and like would really like this as a display, good luck finding a way to mount it or anything because it is very... It, the shell is, does not lean for um, very convenient uh, display. I think I had it hanging in my old apartment by like a peg right here. And then I think I had like two more pegs like here where my finger and thumb are just to kind of stabilize it because this is not an easy one to store. Uh, none of these Halo Blasters really are other than the pistols. But that's what I have to say about the Boomco Halo Needler Blaster. It's uh, pretty interesting, very great for cosplay, maybe okay for display, not great for performance. I mean, it performs similar to other Boomco Blasters or at least the ones that I've shown in the series of videos so I can't really knock it too much it just doesn't inspire a lot of confidence with that action um, so if you like what I'm doing here please like and subscribe and consider sharing the video with somebody um, I don't know who but that's up to you I guess uh, now uh, if you want to catch up with me on any other so kind of social media I'll leave them in the descriptions down below um, let's see I think I've now figured out that how to link y'all to other videos on my channel or if you want to go directly to my channel and subscribe, there it is. I'm doing two thumbs because I don't know what side I'm going to put it on yet. But um, if you like to listen to me talk for maybe longer than about, let's see where I'm at, eight minutes and five seconds, um, my brother and I started a podcast. It's called Catch Up With Crab Legs. We have two episodes. Crab Legs is one word. We're available on iTunes, Google Play, and there will be a, just, uh, a direct link in the de description down below to our RSS feed. Um, give us a listen if you like us rate somehow. I'm not sure how rating works or anything like that. Um, but other than that, thank you for the continued support, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.